All right, now we had the Dow Jones Industrial or Average just about 150 points away from Dow 43,000. And as I've said, they're going to take this market to an all-time record just one or two days before the election. And then most likely they're going to rug pull. Now, we still got about three and a half more weeks left before the election, so they may very well take this market to Dow 44,000 or even higher. It wouldn't be out of the question that they take this to Dow 45,000 to stick it to you-know-who. Now, the problems in this economy, they still remain the layoffs. They continue the factories. They continue closing up nonstop. And in my opinion, that's the biggest worry because many of these jobs, they're not going to be coming back. They're either going south of the border, Mexico, Latin America, or they're just closing up due to bankruptcy, due to debt constraints. And these are going to be town killers. When you're closing up shop and... It's affecting two or three hundred people in many of these small towns. That's pretty much going to be a gut punch for that zip code. And I've got news for you. It's not going to stop. We're going to continue. And as this economy gets worse, you're going to have these indexes move higher. The guys at the top, they're going to make sure you believe that this is the best economy ever, even after you're evicted and getting put out of your home. Now, we had the hurricanes absolutely wreck the southeast Florida I mean, they got gut punched. And for many of these people, it's going to take a few years to come back. Many of these businesses, they're going to be closed either for good or it's going to take at least a year for them to get back on their legs. And by the time that happens, you may very well see another hurricane come. And in fact, there's a possibility there may be another hurricane by next weekend. And that might affect Florida sometime around the 23rd, 25th of Florida. But that's in the long range weather models. So who knows? But these category three and five storms, they're becoming more frequent, and that's going to mean insurance rates, they're going to go through the roof. And in many places, this is going to change the dynamics of real estate. Your average Joe is not going to be able to afford a lot of the home insurances. So what's going to end up is you're going to have cash buyers in many of these markets. Now, some of these guys, they'll get insurance, but some of these guys, they'll do without insurance. But the average Joe, they're not going to have a choice. If you're putting down a down payment, you're going to have to have insurance, and that's going to be something you're not going to afford, so you're going to be pushed out of that market. And right now, going forward, the insurance company, they're going to control the real estate industry, point blank. Now, we also saw a lot of people's belongings get demolished. Furniture, cars, I mean, there are going to be a ton of people who are going to end up basically starting over. They're going to have to find new wheels, and they're going to go with the bare amount of furniture probably in their homes for a while. Now, let's remember the average Joe, they're out of savings. There is no more savings. There are no stimulus checks coming. And if you're applying for FEMA, you're applying for some type of hurricane aid, that stuff can take weeks, months, who knows? So you're going to be at the mercy, basically, of sitting on your hands, hoping that check comes in the mail. And in many cases, you're going to have to go down to the post office for the next few months because in many places, the mailboxes got wiped out. And many of these homes, they got wiped out. So it ain't even going to be a place to send the mail. And these are just gut punches from the weather. We're not talking about good old fashioned economic blows that we've been dealing with for the past decade. So America's in trouble. It's going to remain in trouble. And again, we're going to have a hard time climbing out of this hole that we're in. Now, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.